Senate Memorial 1 by Senator Hodge and Lundberg, memorializing former Senator Frederick, Frederick Edwin Anderson, whereas our respected former colleague, Frederick Fred Enwood Anderson, a past member and president of the Colorado Senate, departed this life on December 22, 2011, at the age of 83. And whereas Senator Anderson was born to Swan Edwin Anderson and Helen Peterson Anderson in Loveland on February 20, 1928, and graduated from Loveland High School in 1946. And whereas after attending the University of Colorado, Senator Anderson enlisted in the United States Army during the Korean War. And whereas Senator Anderson was stationed in Germany, where he served honorably in an artillery unit with the rank of sergeant. And whereas after being discharged from the Army, Senator Anderson married Annie Howard on April 22, 1954, whom he had met in Rome during his military service. And whereas Senator Anderson returned to Loveland and worked in agriculture, farming, and feeding cattle. And whereas in the 1960s, Senator Anderson became active in Colorado politics and served one term representing Senate District 11 in the Senate from 1967 to 1970, one term representing Senate District 26 in the Senate from 1971 to 1974, and two terms representing Senate District 27 in the Senate from 1975 to 1982. And whereas during his 16 years in the Senate, Senator Anderson was a devoted public servant for the citizens of Larimer County. And whereas as a member of the General Assembly, Senator Anderson served for 12 years as a member of the Joint Legislative Council Committee, including five years as chair and one year as vice chair. And whereas Senator Anderson served for 12 years as a member of the Senate Agriculture, Natural Resources, and Energy Committee, including four years as chair. And whereas Senator Anderson served for seven years as a member of the Joint Legislative Audit Committee, including three years as vice chair, served for six years as a member of the Senate Appropriations Committee, including two years as vice chair, and served for two years as vice chair of the Joint Legislative Information Committee. And whereas Senator Anderson was also a member of Senate committees on education, institutions, water, Senate services, game, fish, and parks, transportation, urban affairs, finance, the judici judiciary, state affairs, business affairs and labor, as well as a member of joint and interim committees. And whereas Senator Anderson was the first president of the Colorado Senate to be elected by his fellow senators, whom he presided over from 1975 to 1982. And whereas Senator Anderson took a leading role in modernizing Colorado's water laws, including a milestone restructuring and integration of ground and surface water rights in 1969, as well as numerous other efforts to protect water resources. And whereas Senator Anderson served on the board of directors of the Federation of Rocky Mountain States, served as the fourth president of the National Conference of State Legislatures, and served by the appointment of President Jimmy Carter on the United States Advisory Commission on Intergovernmental Relations. And whereas Senator Anderson was recognized in 1982 by President Ronald Reagan as National Republican Legislator of the Year. And whereas Senator Anderson helped launch the House of Neighborly Service and Project Self-Sufficiency, was an active member of Trinity Lutheran Church in Loveland, where he sang in the choir, and was an avid golfer, and traveled the world, including Antarctica, with his wife. And whereas Senator Anderson will be remembered as a good friend and a good citizen. And whereas it is fitting that we, the members of the 68th General Assembly, pay tribute to the dedicated service of Senator Fred E. Anderson, and express our deep regret and sorrow occasioned by his death. Now, therefore, be it resolved by the Senate of the 68th General Assembly of the State of Colorado that in the death of Frederick E. Anderson, the people of the State of Colorado have lost a dedicated public servant and outstanding citizen, and that we, the members of the 68th General Assembly, do hereby extend our deep and heartfelt sympathy to the members of his family and pay tribute to a man who served the state well and faithfully. Be it further resolved that copies of this joint memorial be sent to Senator Anderson's wife, Anna Anderson of Loveland, his brother, Dean Anderson of Berthoud, his children, Todd Anderson of Golden, Mark Anderson of Prescott, Arizona, Eric Anderson of Anchorage, Alaska, and Mary Catherine Dibb of Walnut Creek, California, and his grandchildren. Senator Lindbergh. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, members uh, and uh, guests and many uh, honored uh, uh, guests who are former uh, senators and, and other officials for the state of Colorado, uh, it's indeed, um, it's my honor and privilege to serve in the uh, uh, Senate uh, in the, representing essentially the same areas that uh, former uh, Senator Fred Anderson did uh, many years ago. And, and did you get that one point in there? He was president of the Senate from 
1975 to 1982. Now, that's a complete term of office today. Uh, and of course, he served in this body for 18, uh, 16 years total. But a few details about his, his life that I'd like to give you uh, at this point. Uh, Fred Anderson of Loveland died at the age of 83. He was known nationally for his work in the area of water rights. By others, he is remembered as brother, husband, father, neighbor. Anderson's great-great-grandparents were indentured servants from Sweden who met in Masonville and married in 1876, the year Colorado became a state. Senator Anderson grew up on a farm near Loveland and served in the U.S. Army during the Korean War. He and an Army buddy took a trip to Rome while stationed in Germany. His buddy had a girl he wanted to see. That young lady had a sister named Anne. The father of those two girls was serving there in the Foreign Service. Fred asked if he could call Anne when they both returned to Colorado, and he did, leading to a 57-year marriage. They lived and worked together farming and ranching in Larimer County. He is survived by three sons and one daughter, Todd, a mining engineer with Newmont Engineering working in Ghana, who is uh, with us today, Mark, a veterinarian living and working in Arizona, also with us today, and Eric, who lives in Alaska and works as a flight dispatcher, and then their daughter, Marian, Mary Catherine Deeb, who holds a PhD in organization psychology from Columbia, who is unable to attend today. Uh, but we do understand that uh, Eric from Alaska is watching online. So, howdy, Eric. <laughs> Senator Anderson is also survived by seven grandchildren, one great-grandchild, and a brother, Dean. Family was very important to Senator Anderson. No matter how busy he was, he took the time to share the breakfast table with his family in order to keep up with all their activities. During his 16 years in the Colorado State Senate, he only missed a very few breakfasts due to stormy weather. And I can tell you, it's a pretty long drive from Loveland down to here every morning. <laughs> so my hat is off to him for that. He found time in his schedule to be a Cub Scout pack master, to be involved with midget football, and when working in, uh, in D.C., he would sometimes fly home for his children's events. As a neighbor, Fred Anderson also helped launch the House of Neighborly Service and Project Self-Sufficiency, an active member of Trinity Lutheran Church, and as was mentioned, he even sang in the choir and for many years chaired the Loveland Water and Sewer Board. A member of countless civic and philanthropic organizations, he also served on the governing board of Lutheran Hospital and Home Society and as chair of the United Way. He has also been actively involved in the Farm Bureau and Colorado Cattle Feeders and so many, many, many other things, as of course you heard in the resolution and, and uh, uh, of of which we, we can't say enough, but we will say more. And um, I trust that uh, after we've had an adequate time to, to speak, that some of the former members of the Senate uh, can do as well. And with that, uh, Mr.